Welcome to Tech Brothers Domino. In this video, we are going to learn how to check if a string contains a substring in the ADF data flow. So this can be a column come in with some values and you want to check against if the value does exist in that column. And then you want to divide maybe into multiple streams or maybe by using a condition split. Now here is the thing. I spent a couple of uh, hours on this one and I was confused uh, and uh, somehow I was looking at the two different things. Uh. So there are expressions uh, there on control flow and there are expressions on the data flow. So they are a little different uh, that you need to use it here. So if I will take you to the portal um, actually on the web here and you see right there uh, it says the control flow expression language functions. Uh, and uh, there is a if I will uh, simply go contain and uh, see right there contains function so I'm looking for contain function here and uh, right there it says uh, contains uh, check whether the collection has specific item uh. so now if you see right there uh, this is a uh, on the control flow so maybe you are using lookup and uh, you are using for each loop and there you want to write that so this contain will work just fine when you will provide the values there and uh, and then uh, you know it's gonna turn you return you true or false depending on the situation uh. And this is another example right there as well. So this is on the control flow, not on the data flow level. So if you will go to the data flow expressions and look for contains, so there is a function called contains, but that works on the array type. See, so there is no string you can pass it there. So if you are bringing a column there, and then you want to look for some value, if the column contain that value, um, you know, that's not gonna be happening with the contain function in the data flow. So uh, there is another function called the uh, in string. So that's what uh, can be helpful for us. Uh, so in string, uh, if you go ahead and use in string and uh, here is your uh, data and uh, then you will look for some uh, uh, characters there. And if it is true and false, uh, it's gonna return you the uh, occurrence of that. So right here, so M B O, you see right there. So you can see right there. And then uh, you have a Microsoft O that's uh, happening right here on the fifth. Uh, so it's returning you the index of that one okay now how we use this so first of all just remember that um, don't be like me you know who just understand like oh there are expressions available and functions available in ADF and they are the same in the data flow and control flow they're not so there are separate functions available and contains in the control flow is different so you see right there it is working on the string value and contain on the uh, data flow doesn't work uh, on the uh, string uh, it works on the array right there so you yeah, just remember that you're you're not wasting your time there so let's go ahead and experiment this one and we are going to look on the data flow side so right here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new data flow um, I might uh, just uh, delete this one it's okay to delete and uh, just I'm gonna start with the new data flow Okay, what I have here, I have this customer file and this customer file, you can see I have some sample data. So let's edit and take a look. Here you can see that I have IDs and then I have Amir, most of the name, and then I have Shehzad. So let's look for SHA right here. So we have SHA at start, we have capital SHA, we have SHA at the end. So I'm gonna look for this SHA and see if I am able to find in this column called the last name. And uh, maybe we will say uh, Lisa, you know, just uh, another name. Okay, so we have this data and then we are going to implement there. Uh, let me go to the data factory here and in the source, we are going to add source and uh, now we are going to go ahead and add new. I'm going to go with blob storage and uh, go for CSV file. Now, my, I have already created a link service. You can go ahead and create a new one if you want. Let's go ahead and create a new one and uh, that's fine. Select my blob storage and then uh, I will use uh, this blob storage where my container exists. Um, so hit, hit create and it's going to create a linked service for us. So, okay, our linked service is created. I'm going to navigate to the for, uh, container now. In the input container, we have that uh, test uh, uh, file there so hit ok and now what we are gonna do yes first row is the header and you can read the from a sample file that's fine actually read from connection store that's fine okay we don't have any sample file for schema so hit ok now 
and uh, we are all good here and uh, I can go ahead and preview my data so I have to start debug session for my cluster spark cluster and uh, then I will be able to preview the data okay our data flow debug cluster is ready and uh, we are all good here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit to refresh and uh, we will see the data and now you can see our data we have last name here and uh, then we have first name and we have ID now let's go ahead and add drive column okay and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add drive column here and uh, in the drive column uh, I'm gonna click right there and uh, then uh, we are gonna add a new column um, I'm going to call check uh, value okay and if I go here in the expressions uh, and uh, you see right there and uh, go to expressions and uh, I want to check everything on the last name so if I will do contains so contains is a function and we know that but it's accepting an array so my last name is not an array it is a string value even I will try to pass that value of co uh, that column here and then uh, provide some value maybe okay I want to look for SHA in that uh, last name you see right there it's uh, telling me hey it is accepting an array okay now if I want to provide some value uh, let's say uh, I will say if you know we will talk about that to contain in the just after this one we will add another column okay now we are gonna use in string so in str in string here and this function is gonna accept string and then substring to find so now if I will go ahead and provide the my last name here and then uh, what I want to find I want to find SHA okay that's cool and uh, I'm going to this is check value column hit finish and now we can go ahead and preview the data I have this new parrot in the house making a lot of noise so just ignore it so here we have the results uh, and we can see that for Shahzad it is returning as a zero even though the SHA is right there but it is returning a zero because it's a case sensitive and when I pass the string to look for I provide S capital in my string in the expression that's why and you can see right there it was able to find SHA so it is returning as one and find SHA again and returning as one so and uh, it is returning zero for all of that even have the SHA here and SHA is uh, here as well so to ignore that part or just uh, do the right comparison even we are not uh, if you are doing case sensitive that's fine then you're good but uh, in case um, you are uh, you're not really concerned about a case sensitive comparison then uh, you have to uh, make some adjustments so open expression again and here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use upper function on both sides okay so upper here I can simply write this one in uppercase that's fine or I can always go ahead and say upper as well here too you know so just making sure you know on the I'm uh, comparing uh, all the data on the, that string uh, in uh, upper cases uh. so now even I have this uh, SHA small then it's gonna turn into the upper cases and this one will be upper cases as well and it will be right comparison uh. so if you are as I said that if is uh, you are concerned about case sensitivity comparison then you don't have to do the upper and now you can see that even uh, this is SHA is a small and uh, we were looking for uh, uh, SHA with the uh, S capital then uh, uh, the comparison did happen because we use upper uh, function on the both side so see right there this is coming through this is coming through and uh, this is coming through as well and this is coming through and uh, this one is at the end uh, but uh, you can see that uh, it is given uh, you position uh, from where it is uh, starting uh, okay so it, it is not really contained is not giving you yes and no it is giving you if the value exists and where it exists so it is giving you index of that but it is useful so how so anywhere uh, it is not zero it means the value does exist there somewhere right so I can use that now where it is zero it means in that column it does not uh, exist um, okay so now I can use the conditional split here and uh, I will say in the conditional split uh, I want to use the uh, drive column let's say uh, does not exist okay and uh, here is my condition uh, uh, that's going to be so I want to say is equal to zero okay so check where it is zero so this branch uh, actually it is uh, 
okay now and exist okay so it is going to turn into two parts does not exist and exist now i can write this data to simply let's say if it will return us the data so let me run all the way otherwise we will go ahead and run into the um, csv file and take a look on that one so you see right there uh, I, I previewed the data on does not exist uh, where we write the condition on condition split uh, where uh, the check column value is zero so that means uh, this column does not contain any sha right so if i will go to the exist and uh, then I'll try to refresh Let's see if it does show me four records so this is not really showing and so the preview is not really coming correct because it's evaluating for the expression zero but it is not really evaluating for uh, or give, showing us the data that's uh, with the, with the SHAs. so we can write to the file and then take a look from there so now i'm going to go ahead and uh, write to the file so i'm going to use sync here and uh, in this sync i'm going to go ahead and uh, new blob storage CSV file, Pastor has header, link service, and I'm gonna write to this same container. So I will go ahead and uh, do it here and uh, leave everything as it is. Hit OK, and now come back, uh, open here, and uh, then uh, we will provide our file name. Record does um, I will say not contain. Okay, so dot csv and uh, this you do all and uh, now we are going to go back to data flow and uh, here we will uh, go to the setting and uh, we'll do single file okay that should do it and let's do another sync here and that will uh, have the data which contain so i'm going to go right there new and blob storage CSV file, blob uh, link service, yes has header, and then select my container input. Now hit OK, and uh, then uh, hit OK. Now I'm gonna go ahead and provide uh, the name of the file. So let me do this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, contain dot CSV. Okay. Now that's all good here and the data flow and I'm gonna do one more thing here go to settings and uh, instead of uh, default I'm gonna go to output single file and then we should be good okay so it's gonna read all those record in the drive column and uh, is we added a column called check value that uh, by using a uh, in string so if the value does exist it's gonna return us something uh, more than one uh, so uh, sorry one or more than one uh, so whatever the index it is right there so uh, it is five here because it's starting from five and if uh, this value of substring does not exist it's gonna return us a zero index uh, so that will be our decision maker in this condition split uh, where to split the data and then we have two sinks there okay now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to pipeline in the pipeline i'm going to call this uh, data flow go to settings here select the data flow one and we can go ahead and debug uh must specify the file name for output content okay uh specify for which one it has selected uh, exist okay i'm going to call the I think I was supposed to select output single file first and then provide the name. Okay, that's done. Then we go to this first one and here does not exist dot CSV. Okay, now we are all good here and we should be able to run our data flow. Okay, our data flow is completed successfully. Let's go ahead and take a look on the files first. So I'm gonna go to the folder here, refresh, and uh, we can uh, open uh, our uh, file and uh, take a look here. Okay, so see exist. So you see right there, you could have just removed the check value column there in the mapping, but I also brought it here. So you can see that exist, uh, all of those values where Amir exist, uh, sorry, SHA exist, uh, that's where uh, we are writing. And then we go to the does not exist file and then 
you can edit and take a look so these are the two record where SHA does not exist okay that's great so we learn by using in string we can use that uh, to find out if the string exists in the column value or not now let's go back here and uh, I want to give you a little more experiments so so here if uh, you remember that uh, we have a uh, data flow expressions and there is a contain function but that works on the array so let me take this example as it is you know if I will take this one now and we can use it here I'm gonna to go to the column here and add a new column okay and I'm going to say check value in array so if uh, you are getting uh, values or your column is array type then you can write this expression so see right there you're gonna go ahead and type this here and now you will provide the column here uh, so in my case, I don't have a column. So I am just using this array of one two three four Then you will provide this item hashtag uh, item. So this has to be kind of hard-coded and then uh, the value you want to look for Okay, so here it is saying, hey, I want to look for number three So let's say if we want to look for number two So if uh, that value does exist or not, so it does exist in this case so and the name of the column we are generating is called check value in array so it should return, return us a true value let's go to the data preview and the refresh so notice here it is returning us a true so you can see right there because the number two does exist in that array we have a define now let's go back and let me make some small changes to it now in this array maybe there is a values coming through those are string arrays and those are values amir and then you have another value called Shehzad and then you have another value called the test okay so these are this is your array uh, that's um, right now I'm hard coding because I don't have a column that is uh, has a array values um, and then you will say I'm looking for an item that is a uh, Amir okay and in this case uh, what you're gonna see is uh, gonna match it right and that's fine now what we can do we can go to preview refresh and notice that it has given us a yes it is true and it was able to find Amir now let's go back here and do some changes and in this case I'm gonna go look for a so a capital and you see that we don't have any capital Amir here so let's experiment that if it is also case sensitive so you notice here it is a check in it but it's saying hey I could not find Amir A with the uh, capital so it is a case sensitive so you have to provide uh, the values in the same uh, case uh, lowercase or uppercase um, that's one of the thing and also if you will say test value one you know this does not exist as well so if we go ahead and execute now it is uh, uh, going to return us a false value for the check column so notice here it is returning us the crosses so it means the false value now that's great so you learn how to use in string for the string type columns and check if the value does exist or not by using condition split after that and you can use contain function in uh, uh, data flow to check uh, if the value does exist uh, or item does exist in an, an, an array or not uh, you know so these are two things I hope uh, this will help you and you would not waste the time I did uh, uh, because I was not aware uh, there is a difference uh, between the container uh, in the control flow yeah, this is control flow and uh, there is a container uh, in the data flow that has a different parameters and use arrays as the input parameter instead of here you can pass the string in the control flow i thank you for watching i will put this both link in the description so you can take a look by yourself and also i hope this video will help you to solve your problem thank you very much and see you guys in the next video